uh, how is Berlinale, how does Berlinale deal with LGBT themes and filmmakers okay. and cinema? Well, the Berlinale is brilliant and the section called the Panorama is the section run by Wieland Schbeck at this moment who is sort of the grandfather or father, he would hate to be called grandfather, <laughs> um, of sort of making this happen within a, 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 an A-list festival and it's been happening sent for, for 20, 30 years now, 40 years even. So he really, to bring that into an A-list festival, not as a separate festival, but one within the context of a, a major festival in the world where everybody can come and have access to these stories is a remarkable thing. You don't get that in America. I mean, Sundance has things th flowing through it and, you know, but an international festival where everybody is coming, mm -hmm. it's, it's brilliant and it's helped me get audiences to see my work who wouldn't see my work you know outside of that context so it's been a major support it's been a major player they're the first festival to give this award called the teddy which is turning 30. Um, it's like the the gay oscars i mean it's the only one that exists i think there's one at the Cannes film festival uh -huh. that's another major a-list festival that they, they just started it a couple years ago so to have this historic moment where they're turning 30 and I'm turning 20 with The Watermelon Woman, it's, 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 it's shocking to see how my career has, this is my fifth time here, uh -huh. twice with The Watermelon Woman and I've made other projects in between that have even been nominated for a Teddy. The Owls right. um, was another one about, uh, which stands for older, wiser lesbian. <laughs> That's another story, because um, I'm older. And uh, just, just whatever, it just allowed me to, to the space to breathe. Right. and the space to not have to worry about um, where is it going to play. Right. Because what happens is you're not just selling seats, you're selling cinema. Right. You're selling, selling your vision and yeah. Wieland and his team support that vision. Right. And so I'm, I'm, you know, it's always on my list to come here. It's okay. beyond the Sundance and beyond any you know, American festival. Not that I wouldn't go to it, but it feels very, I feel like I have yeah. a family and I yeah. have to keep telling my stories and, yeah. and promote that. And do you think, when you're telling your stories, do you feel that, are you trying to support the African American community, the LGBT community, uh, or are you trying to educate people who don't belong to those communities? Mm. Interesting. I think that's the magic of what I do as a filmmaker. I mean, you know, there can be a, say, a, you know, what is queer cinema? We had this panel yesterday with Christine Vachon and uh, Bruce LaBruce, who is uh, two American, you know, like gods and goddesses in queer cinema. But the question was like, what is it? Is it about who makes it? Is it about the content? Or is it about the mode of production or audience? Right. And I think that's sort of where it goes. Are we trying to educate about queerness? Are we trying to show what queer life looks like? Or is it how it's made? Because mm -hmm. hey, a, a gay person can do it. I mean, you don't have to be gay and, and make everything gay. But I do. And um, I'm, I'm teaching w under the title of queer narrative filmmaker, whatever that means, at San Francisco State. Um, and I feel like uh, what one of my um, teachers, mentors in literature, Audre Lorde said, you know, um, the master's tools will never sort of break up the master's house. You have to create your own uh -huh. thing. And um, my marginality is my strength. I need to speak my truth. So by doing that and by putting myself in the picture um, and by telling stories about that, I'm not only just making work about and putting my identity out there, but I'm also trying to entertain and also right. trying to, you know, uh, uh, you know, not say I'm just like everyone, but definitely, you know, show all the facets of uh, and, and equalizer and and just saying I I belong yeah. and I'm I'm in that spectrum right. of of media, which somehow we don't we forget, you know, yeah. we definitely forget, okay. and I, I think that's going on a lot right now with. Um, with the internet and, and, and identities is popping out left and right. Um, and so I want to be in that, that, that pull or, or show who I am. And, and so are themes of race or uh, gay and lesbian themes in your current project that you're working on? Yes, my, my new film is called Black is Blue. And what I did to make The Watermelon Woman, I made a short film first. Mm -hmm. And with the short film, you toured around festivals and, and things like that. And that film is called Greetings from Africa, which is about my past. I'm, um, I was born in Africa, but raised in America, and you know, have this sort of 
I'm an African, African American, whatever <laughs> that might be. Um, so I did the same mix with this one. I made a short film, which is called Black is Blue, and I just moved to Oakland uh, a couple years ago to teach at San Francisco State and, and do a few other things, and was looking for myself in a community. Mm -hmm. And it was the trans men of color and trans people of co color community that I you know, embraced and, and reflected a lot of what I was going through as a, a, a new, sort of masculine center looking person, but their stories are invisible, mm -hmm. you know? And so here again, uh, something that I want to do is like put the spotlight on our margins. Our marginality is our strength. Um, storytelling is, is filled there. And so in looking at that story, looking at a, you know, I, I, I made up a, a story and do what I do, which is called the Dunye Mentory now, which is that mixing of documentary and fiction. And, you know, tell this life of this guy who had to live in his car because he doesn't have the right papers and he's not able to get a job. And so the short film ends with, you know, one, you know, period there. And so we're making it a comma and adding on to it to make a feature film. Right. And um, expanding it to look not only just at a black trans man, but also looking at a black trans woman and uh, sort of a love story between okay. the two of them, a tragic love story. Okay, wonderful. Charles Dunier, thank you so much. Thank you, my Great goodness. Time here in Berlin. Yes, and I hope yes. To see you again, maybe next year. I, if the, I have to ask my producer, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who's a. It's so great to have a producer too, finally. And I think that's also about a collaboration. Filmmaking is about collaboration yeah, and teams. So, I'll see you. Okay. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, you're a part of the team now. Excellent.